Charlton, when you have a, a situation kind of like what's going on right now with uh, young quarterbacks and the offense struggling and that, you guys have played well defensively sort of until that first half Saturday. How incumbent is it on your group now to sort of like get back to sort of picking up the slack and kind of carrying maybe a little bit heavier part of the load than you might normally like to? I tell you, as a defensive guy, as defensive personnel, we always, you know, we believe our goal is to keep the offense from scoring. And so for us, you know, we don't, I don't know if we feel any more added pressure. Um, it's more about execution is critical. You know, you don't have a margin to bust. You don't have a margin to have mental lapses and do things that are self-inflicted wounds. So for us, the, the attention to detail to execution is critical down the stretch because the margin for error is small. Um, so for us, that's what we're focused on. Great execution, you know, tremendous accountability, um, doing our job um, and putting ourselves in position to create takeaways, get the ball back to our offense, and play the field position game. So for us, it's so much about execution here down the stretch. Yeah, Coach, uh, you know, um, Ohio State has some pretty dynamic skill guys, and they got some guys in space, and but there were so also some missed tackles in space. How, how do you maybe clean that up for Maryland? Because Maryland's got some kind of fast, shifty skill guys too. I think it's what you said is more – that of their guys that Ohio State had as we had guys there at the point of attack and uh, they were able to make those guys miss or whatever the case may be. So I, it, for us, as always, you know, <clears throat> our attention we put on gang tackling, running to the football, having more than one person so you don't have a single point failure um, in space. And so that's what we got to make sure we're doing. We're getting more hats to the ball. We're being in coverages and things where – there's, when the ball's thrown, we have guys with vision who can break and make those tackles, and it becomes a vice tackle as opposed to a one-on-one -on -one tackle in space. So it's back to our fundamentals and getting back to that like we do in really Tuesdays, our days we really focus on that in practice. I guess you're going to stay on that. When you watch film from this, I mean, what did you see Saturday that you haven't seen from this defense so far? Say that again, sorry. What, what did you see on Saturday that you haven't seen from this defense? I mean, you guys have been pretty effective. What do you kind of look at as this is what stood out or went um, wrong? Going against three NFL wide receivers um, and uh, that are really, really good in space. And so that's probably the biggest difference. I don't know if we've seen the combination of speed um, and the ability up front to block and, and protect um, that those guys have had so far this year. We play some really quality teams. But they're number one in the country in almost every offensive category for a reason. And that was probably just – uh, animal we had not seen firsthand. And you know how things are. The speed, it was faster than you can simulate in practice. It was faster, live and in color. I think it took our guys a while to sort of settle down and be able to get in position. Um, so I think that's the biggest difference. It was just a whole different animal on Saturday. Um, and, and we didn't play well. And I didn't put our guys in position uh, to make enough plays. And that's incumbent on me to have a good enough game plan where we can overcome those things. And so I didn't do that part of it. Um, I think the kids fought battled, um, gave us everything they had. They were definitely still trying to check in in that game in the third and fourth quarter um, and, and, you know, come out in the second half and hold them to 10 points. But I just didn't do a great enough job of putting us in position where we didn't have those single-point failures um, and didn't give, get him, give them a chance to get to the speed of the game the way we probably should have. I never listen to outside noise. I'm sure you don't either. But – what, when in a game like that where, where Ohio State scores on six straight possessions, the natural inclination to kind of look at it is that uh, this is a team that's sort of checking out a little bit mentally, um, that their confidence is gone in themselves. Do you, A, see that at all, or B, what do you need to do to make sure that that gets better going forward after a loss like oh, that? Oh, yeah. I, I think you watch the tape, that question, right? You watch the tape and see our guys battling in the second quarter. You watch the tape and see in the third quarter, do they come out and get a sack on the first play? You see what Micah McFadden's doing. I think you watch the tape to answer that question. You would see there wasn't a kid that checked out. There was a bunch of kids battling. Our starters were in in the fourth quarter. So no, one's ch no one checked out. I don't think those kids on that field at one moment quit. I don't think those kids at one moment in that game decided not to play anymore. So I didn't see that. If you did, I, I just didn't see that. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Yes, sir. Just to spin it forward to Maryland, just to, to start, what uh, impresses you about uh, Talia Tagovailoa and just what stands out about their offense in general? I tell you what, they're very dynamic. They're very well coached. 
you have a dual threat quarterback who does a great job of uh, improvising and making plays with his feet to set up the pass game. Um, formationally, they do some things with formation to the boundary, jet motion, um, very athletic tight end that can do things in space. Um, I think the running back's a guy that's, you know, he's done a lot, played a lot of football. Um, he can catch it out the backfield. He can run it between the tackles. Uh, they do a lot of things with gap scheme, zone scheme. Um, so they make you plan for everything. They make you defend a lot of grass. And so, but there's an element to them that is physical, that wants to be physical with their gap scheme, with their gap scheme running game. So it, it makes you cover the pass, the run, the screen game is big for them. They try to get you off balance. So, and they're, they're a group, once they get it rolling, they're rolling. So tremendous challenge for us and our players to come up with a game plan, go out and execute uh, this coming Saturday against Maryland. All right, thanks guys, appreciate it.